हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैनल वेल्स एंड टेल्स एंड वी वर डिस्कसिंग द अमेजिंग वर्क ऑफ लिटरेरी स्टॉल वर्ड सैम्यूल जॉनसन विच इज़ टाइटल लंडन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ दिस लंडन दैट हाउ द वेरियस पॉलिसीज ऑफ रॉबर्ट वॉलपोल्स गवर्नमेंट अंडर द किंगशिप ऑफ जॉर्ज वन एंड पर्टिकुलरली जॉर्ज टू has made or has turned london a city of voices voices right a city where honesty and sense are disgrace a city which is full of hypocrisies a city which is degenerated be it in social terms moral terms or human degeneration right so through this uh, poem through this uh, work satirical piece actually samuel johnson is exposing or highlighting the corruption that was prevalent at his times so far we have uh, discussed uh, that how uh, there is a character called uh, thales who is living london for cambria cambria which is a solitary shore because cambria is a place which is actually not having all the kind of vices that london is witnessing nowadays so his friend is happy and uh, thales before going uh, to cambria is actually waiting for his ship on the shore of thames and is narrating the ordeal and is narrating the plight that he has undergone in this london city and which has compelled him to leave this city okay so we have ended uh, on this line in the last video that he doesn't want to live an unregarded and un unlimited death that's why he wants to go away uh, from this place a place which is full of vices you know this is a quote uh, from the text itself when he says that this london is full of vices or maybe he has said that it is a city of vices now we will see here that he is actually saying in this lines that london has forgotten its englishness you know and what london or what english people are doing these days they are just imitating so you know they are into this practice of imitation whom they are imitating let's read he is saying that the cheated nations happy favorite see mark whom the great cares who frown on me now these people they actually don't look upon uh, me as a good one because i don't follow uh, their uh, practices you know i don't follow uh, their traits so because london the needy villains general home now london has become this city for villains who are vil who they are only villains are living and has become the common shore of paris and rome so they are imitating the french uh, modes and manners they are imitating the italian or the roman modes and manners and they have forgotten their own english manners so with eager thrust by folly or by fate sucks in the dregs of each corrupted state so these hypocrisies or these manners of the foreigners have been infused in each and every state of london and he is saying that forgive my transports on a theme like this and please forgive me that i am talking like this that uh, we people are on the english people are only imitating forget me but i cannot bear a french metropolis so our london city is not a city of england it has rather become a french metropolis because of the migration of so many people here and not only the migration of the people but also the imitation of the manners of uh, paris uh, and rome that is of french culture and italian culture that we are imitating but forgetting our own culture our own englishness so in the last video i have told you that how he uh, talked about queen elizabeth queen elizabeth from whom the spaniards were afraid right now he is invoking that past glory through the king edward now he is saying that illustrious edward from the realms of day the land of heroes and of saint survey so that was the time you know the time of uh, grand magnificent king edward when england was the land of heroes and the land of saints nor hope the british lineaments to trace the rustic grandeur or the surly grace kada now you cannot see all this grandeur and this grace because now the london lost in thoughtless ease and empty show now the london has lost in all these things behold the warrior dwindled to a bio now the warrior you know the warrior has been transformed into a foppish gallant okay now you don't see the warriorness the courage okay of the londoners because they are being transformed into a four people into a uh, into a fashionable man who is more interested in operas who is more interested in imitating the vices of french and italian culture rather than uh, keeping intact its own englishness or warriorness okay so what they are doing this is very important of france the mimic and of spain the pray right so we have just discussed here that how they are imitating paris and rome culture so similarly he is giving you a bigger uh, picture now by saying that they mimic the french metro uh, french culture and they are the prey of the spain because i told you that during the regime of robert walpole in english uh, you know english people or english army was unable to uh, 
uh, emerged as victorious or was unable to defeat the Spanish fleet. ठीक है अनलाइक द डिफीट ऑफ स्पेनिश और मार्डर ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ क्वीन एलिजाबेथ सो दे कुड नॉट डिफीट द स्पेनिश फ्लीट एंड दैट्स वाई दे से ही हैज रिटर्न हेयर दैट द प्रे ऑफ स्पेन ओके नाउ अगेन इन ऑल दीज थ्री पैराग्राफ्स ही इज जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द इमिटेशन दैट हाउ दे आर इमिटेटिंग एंड ही इज सेंग हेयर दैट देर इज नो प्लेस फॉर द पुअर पीपल और फॉर द ऑनेस्ट पीपल एंड ही इज सेंग हेयर दैट after uh, you know after invoking edward now he is saying here and the lisp tale of henry's victories that now that was the time you know there was a time when henry fourth victories we used to lisp we used to say we used to sing henry fourth victories at the during the time of uh, 100 years war right but now now what what happened to england now if the girl conquer receives the chain and flattery subdues then arms are vain so here nowadays in england it is the flattery that is reigning you know and arms arms representing here weapons arms representing here courage so courage has no place courage uh, goes in vain but flattery is something uh, which is very worthy for this uh, city okay now he is saying here that studious to please and ready to submit the supple gaul was born a parasite now here he is actually criticizing uh, this spanish manners that these people are very good uh, you know uh, in pleasing other people so they are sweet tongue people and uh, they could easily please you and uh, they bestow upon you bravery worth wit right and uh, from every tongue flows harmony divine so what they will do first uh, they will try to uh, you know they will uh, try to show that how much um uh, they praise you they will praise you they will appreciate you because this is their the supple gol gol here is for spanish people you know because they are born with it it is their art so these arts in vain our rugged natives try straight out with faltering defiance a lion gain a kick for awkward flattery now this art this art of flattery they have learned from the spaniards people so english people have forgotten their own englishness and they have learned all these things from them and uh, after learning all these things what happened to them that because of their flattery because they have endured so much of uh, this uh, culture french culture or spanish culture and they become they have become flatterers so what they will do to shake in dog days in december sweat and as their patron hints the cold or sweat because of in their flattery you know they are so much imitating uh, their masters the french and the spaniards people and they become so proficient in flattery that if their masters if their patron you know patron here is the administrator so if their patron uh, commands them that okay it's december you have to sweat so they will sweat and if they command them that okay in summer you have to shake you have to tremble with coldness in summers right so they will do that that means what he has said in the previous lines also that it has become a thoughtless age ठीक है विच कैन बी लर्ल टू सर्विट्यूड दिस इज हैपनिंग टू देम ओके नाउ हेयर ही सेंग दैट फॉर आर्ट्स लाइक दिस प्रेफर्ड एंड माइड क्रेस्ट दे फर्स्ट इन वेड योर टेबल देन योर ब्रेस्ट एक्सप्लोर योर सीक्रेट्स विद इन सीडियस आर्ट बिकॉज दे आर सो गुड इन देयर टंग राइट एंड दे कुड नो ईच एंड एवरी सीक्रेट ऑफ योर्स okay then what they will do after knowing their secrets watch the weak are and ransack all the heart so when they see that okay now it is their vulner it is your vulnerable time so then they will attack you with your secrets that they have extracted from you right through their uh, sweet tongues now then soon your ill paced confidence repay commerce your laws and govern or betray so what they will do after getting all their all uh, your secrets they will either commence uh, commence you right how they will commence you what they will do these lords what they will do they will either govern you or they will betray you right when someone knows about you that person can easily govern you or that some person can easily betray you by revealing your secret to other person so this is actually the art of the french people that our english people have learned and they do the same so after uh, talking about this imitating culture of uh, the london city and talking about how london city has become a french metropolis in the next paragraph he is actually talking about the human degeneration right human degeneration and social decay that how london is full of crimes and criminals right he is now he is saying that by numbers here from shame or censure free all crimes are safe but hated to poverty he is here saying that in london all crimes are safe you can do any crime you want to but one thing that they hate they don't hate crimes you know they hate poverty right like it we used to say in india also that uh, uh, garibi nahi garib ko hata do right so similar things he is invoking here that they hate poverty 
okay this only this the rigid law pursues this only this provokes the snarling mew so this is the only thing that provokes them that make them angry that is the poverty oh my god why there are so poor people roaming here and there why we have a poor infrastructure right so poor people are actually a blot on their society not the crimes are blot on their society right so what they do the sober trader at a tartar cloak wakes from his dream and labors for a joke with brisker air the silken courtier's gaze on the poor people is talking this is a description of a poor man so what the poor what this courtier will do this courtier which is who is all attired with silken gaze him and turn the very taunt a thousand ways then taunt him for his poverty of all the great if that hears harass the distressed show the most bitter is the scornful jest you know he is saying here johnson is saying here that of course their poverty itself comes with the baggage right poor people have lot to endure and they feel sad they feel bad but the biggest thing that actually makes them more uh, sad is the scornful jest when you make fun of them fate never wounds more deep in the generous heart than when a block heads insult points the dart so you know fate yes they are born poor it didn't impact them more than the taunt than the insult when people say that ah oh, poor people you bloody poor people stay away from us so this is something when you make them realize that you are poor this you know this affect them more this adversely impact them more so this is the thing that here he is saying that these people are so rigid and these people are uh, so uh, we can say apathetic you know that uh, they have no uh, we can say concern for the poor people rather they hate poor people and not only hate poor people but also insult them okay so here he is saying in the next paragraph which is important he say he says that okay quick let us rise the happy seats explore and bear oppressions insolence no more he is saying that oh my dear people please understand this thing this is the high time that do, you should react okay that you should not uh, silently endure what all is happening to do people who don't have much power right right now he is saying that please this is the high time you should you should explore the happy seats and don't bear don't endure all this impression right this mournful truth is everywhere confessed slow rises worth by poverty depressed yes we know this is something that it is very you know this is something which is very sad and at the same time everyone knows that for a poor people to rise in their life is little slow right it's difficult yes but here more slow where all are slaves to gold but in a city like london this process this slow process of transforming our lives from a poor state to a good state becomes more slow because here everyone is slave to gold right everyone is slave to corruption and everyone is slave to profit only and they think about their own vested interest and profit and they have no concern for the common man so where looks are merchandised and smiles are sold where one by bribe by flattery is implored the groom retains the favors of his lord now here there are one to one interaction between the lord and the master the master serves the lord the lord serves the master the rest of the population has no place in this society called london okay so then he'll say uh, in the next line the next paragraph which is important for you in, in fact all poems poem is important but what we will read now okay so here he says uh, in this paragraph uh, that refund the plunder of the beggar's land see while he builds the gaudy vassals come and crowd with certain wealth the rising doom now in this paragraph what he has said actually samuel johnson that they have raised so much wealth the masters have raised so much uh, wealth so here he is na origelius so origelio here he is representing uh, the evil people uh, or origelio is actually uh, one of the governor that is being named in juvenal's third satire as well right so according to certain critics so this origelio is an indirect representation of robert walpole himself right that how he has raised so much wealth that if you can uh, if you if you you know collect all the wealth then the this wealth can touch uh, the skies right so here there is description of all these things and he say he says here that 
the price of borrows and of souls restore and raises his treasures higher than before now blessed with all the baubles of the great the polished marble and the shining plate so this is the utensils you know how they eat food shining plates shining plates is here symbol of not they are not eating in the uh, silver plate or glass sorry uh, steel plates or glass plates but in the shining plates so either they are eating in silver plates or they are eating in golden plates so origolius sees the golden pyre aspire and hopes from angry heavens and uh, angry heavens another fire so if people will ask him na uh, that refund the plunder of the beggar land that what all you have collected from the poor people just give them back no it will not impact him it will not affect him he is more interested in his own food he is more interested in raising his own treasures higher than before right so he is uh, in uh, he is living uh, in a frenzy where he has only concern uh, of his own wealth how he can multiply his own wealth okay rather than the welfare of the people so here in the next lines he is saying uh, that could couldst thou resign the park and play content he is saying here to these corrupt people that i am begging you please leave few places don't interfere in every aspect in every uh, thing you know you know we have just read that how this regime has imposed theater licensing act in 1737 where they have said that all the plays are need to be scrutinized before uh, they will be performed on the theaters right then this is the excise act of 1739 31 where they have increased the uh, uh, taxes right so here he is saying that please resign the park and play content for the fear banks of severn or of trent these are the uh, you know rivers of the uh, countryside there might is though some find elegant retreat some hirelings in its deserted street street and stretch their prospects over the smiling land for less than rent the dungeons of the strand he is saying here that please leave these uh, countryside don't interfere in them so that some people can take refuge some people like thales you know who are not interested in the corruption of the city life can go to the countryside and can have a breath you know a fresh breath of air so dear prune thy box support thy drooping flowers direct thy rivulets and twine thy bars and while thy beds the cheap repose afford despite the dainties of a venal lord there every bush with nature's music rings so in a place where there is only nature i want to go there or uh, uh, the dear corrupt ministers please don't interfere in that place or don't develop that place like you are developing city uh, or london let the pure, poor people let the people who have rustic tongues let the people who are not interested in flattery can go there and live there there every breeze bears healthy upon its wings so the place which has nature's music and the place where have where breeze has health okay on all thy are security shall smile security shall smile that means that where there are no crimes and where there are no criminals where people can roam freely and bless thine evening walk and morning trial where they can walk freely in the evening and in the morning so he is saying that please leave certain places for the good people because here in london if you have to live in london prepare for death prepare for death right if here at night you roam at night if you are outside your home then prepare for your death and sign your will before you sup from home and if you are coming out of your home then sign your will before coming out of home because there is no surety that you can go back to your home safely now some fiery fop with new commission vein who sleeps on brambles till he kills his man some frolic drunkard reeling from a feast sorry feast provokes a broil and stabs you for a jest so here people can kill you for a jest you know for a fun here people can kill you because they got they just got a new position so they can kill you now no one can do anything to you because there is no justice there is no law and order in this city so that's why if you are leaving home then leave at your own risk okay and prepare your will before leaving your home because there are high chances that you might not reach back to home so you know the hyperbole at its peak so he is exaggerating this why he is exaggerating in order to showcase the crimes you know that has engulfed the london city yet even these heroes mischievously gay lords of the streets and terrors of the way flushed as they are with folly youth and wine the pur- they are prudent insults to the poor confined so if they won't kill you they will kill you with the with the insults afar they mark the flambeaux bright approach and shun the shining trait and golden coach in vain these dangers pass your doors you close okay so you have decided that i will not go home i will sit at my home okay perfectly fine but 
and hope the blemish bl- uh, balmy blessings of repo so you are thinking that okay i am not out and uh, so because they can they are not leaving any shining train they are not leaving golden coach so okay i will not go outside the street i will stay at my home but uh, johnson is here saying that poor you cruel with guilt and darting with despair the midnight murder brushed the faithful faithless bar faithless bar he is referring to his doors you know doors of home or windows of home they could come into your home if you are not going outside na they will come into your home into your home invades the sacred hours of silent rest and plants unseen a dagger in your breast so criminals and crimes are afraid so the criminals are afraid of no one if you are not going out they will come inside your home and kill you now here is saying that lest ropes be wanting in the tempting spring to rig another convoy for the king so here he is referring here to george ii right and his amorous adventures the george uh, second used to go to meet his uh, girlfriend and here his reference to this only his girlfriend who used to live in hanover right so here in this lines he is saying here that uh, these people are much busy in getting uh, uh, the gallows and the fleet ready uh, for our uh, king because here he is referring here na king dash dash g so we know it's a king and here people are more busy in arranging his fleet than uh, rather than uh, preparing the english fleet uh, to defeat the spain yards he is just opposing it right so here people are busy in arranging his fleet to hanoverian greece so that he could go and meet his tempting spring you know to meet his girlfriend so people are here busy in all these things in all these amorous adventures rather than the real adventures okay now again he is uh, alluding uh, to the old happy days of england uh, which was ruled by king alfred he says that a single jain in alfred's golden reign now we have only crimes and criminals in london but there used to be time in england where we have only single jail could have the nation's criminal contain which can contain the half uh, criminals of the entire nation that means there were very few uh, crimes there were very few criminals that's why we have only single jail but now fear justice then without constraint adored because justice system was very good there high held the steady scale but dropped the sword here no spies were paid no special juries no at that time you know blessed age but ah uh, how different that, that was a blessed age you know no special juries no special juries mean when we have a uh, there is something wrong uh, goes on in our london city and if someone says anything against uh, this prime minister then this prime minister assigned a special jury right uh, to tell that how the patriots or patriots or the opposition of the uh, this robert walpole government are doing something wrong and just send them to jail okay and if uh, they doubt anyone so they just uh, 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 tell them they just uh, you know uh, label them as spy okay and they say oh they are spies of uh, another country that's why they are saying bad about our government put them in jail right so that that this is the time now then during the time of our mighty king alfred there were no spies no special juries that was the blessed age but ah how different from our own it is very different what it used to be then it is, this line is very important right so the age of queen elizabeth the age of queen, uh, king edward the age of king henry the age of uh, king alfred was the blessed age but it is different from our own from the contemporary age where Sam, in which samuel johnson is living now after saying all these things tales is ending this satire and says much could i add but see the boat at hand the tide retiring calls me from the land so he said i can write so much i can add so much uh, to this prevailing and ensuing corruption in the london city but my boat is coming my boat uh, which is taking him to cambria so farewell goodbye my dear friend who has um, you know who was there with him to uh, bid him farewell which were, who was introduced uh, to us in the very first paragraph so after that it is a speech of thales only right and it ends with uh, this uh, this words these lines from thales only now thales is saying that farewell when youth and health and fortune spent my dear friend when your youth and health and fortune is spent thou fliest for refuge to the wilds of ken and when you think of taking a refuge to the wilds of kent and tired like me with follies and with crimes and when you are also tired with the follies and the crimes that are prevalent in the london city in angry numbers born as succeeding times so the succeeding times that the times will come what we will do we will warn the other people also of all this crime and you also want to warn the other people of this crime then shall thy friend nor thou refuse his aid then my dear friend i'll be there for you i will not refuse you my aid still for to wise forsaken his cambrian shade the friend that who has taken uh, you know the refuge in the cambrian shade in virtuous cause once more exert his rage then what the that your friend will do your friend will again 
put out went out his rage thy satire point and animate thy page then what we will do then again we will write a satire and we will fill your pages with the corruption hypocrisy moral social and human degeneration of london okay so this is all about london so you have to read london as a social and political satire okay wherein you have to highlight the various kinds of corruptions that has engulfed the london city be it social be it moral be it human okay be it religious and of course political to ye point hai political satire okay so this is all for samuel johnson's london thank you so much